Welcome back Tremendous Travelers. I'm Justin and this is Loomis and today we're super excited to unbox this 100 watt SIG solar panel provided by Bouge RV, the sponsor of this video. Tremendous Travelers, Tremendous Travelers, this is the opening theme song. So let's start off with what SIG stands for. Hey Loomis, what does SIG stand for? SIG stands for copper, indium, gallium, and selenide. It's a thin film solar cell used to convert sunlight into electricity. This is similar in how silicon is used in crystalline solar panels. Since the four elements of SIGs can be burned onto any conductive surface with a laser, there is a wider range of options for these panels. Thank you Loomis for explaining what SIG stands for. All of that is what makes SIG solar panels flexible, lightweight, and glass-free. So I went ahead and already opened the box. I took it out because I really wanted to see it. Sorry. <laughs> um, but already out of the box, it was in a full 360 like this. So that really talks to you, really speaks about how flexible this is. It's amazing. That's actually really cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unroll it here. Really long too. Um, actually, yeah, very, very long. Really neat. Check that out. So we just talked about how flexible it was. This is pretty lightweight. So Bouge RV's 100 watt solar panel, um, that weighs in at about 16, 17 pounds. This weighs in at about just over four pounds, which is amazing. The other thing about a traditional solar panel is that you have to worry about um, hardware and how heavy that is. I mean pretty not that heavy but you still added weight right this has like 3m adhesive on the back of it the whole back of it basically so it can stick to the roof of your bushwhacker or any teardrop trailer because of how flexible it is we, we won't have any trouble putting it on this curve right here it's going to be awesome i can't wait to put it on all right and talk about durability and it being glass free, we're able to do this lower number and not worry about um, it breaking or anything like that. So that's really, really cool. All right. So another bonus of this is that this SIG's 100 watt solar panel, they also have the 200 watt. Um, it was designed for uh, producing power better during cloudy days. So during Bouge RV's tests, during an eight hour cloudy day, these solar panels did better. It produced 38% more power basically uh, than monocrystalline uh, solar panels, which is amazing. On the screen here, you'll see the specs of this solar panel. Also, be sure to check out the video description for this, uh, discount codes for Bouge RV. So let's talk about installment. Like I said earlier in this video, installing this is going to be a breeze because of the adhesive strips on the back of the solar panel. So all we have to do is remove the backing, put it wherever we want, and just press firmly for about 30 seconds to a minute, ensuring that it's able to bond to the surface. And then it's going to be there for, I don't know, forever. <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm going to put it right here uh, because of the roof vent, and then I might get another one on the other side so it looks symmetrical um so bourgeois rv if i could get another one that'd be great <laughs> but that is the plan to have it on this side for right now um and then these cables i'll show you what we're going to do with the cables to hook it up to the battery so the let's talk about that real quick huh all right let me bring you over there so you can see what i'm talking about Okay, so the Bushwhacker comes with uh, this solar on the side um, SAE port. Um, a lot of RVs are being installed with these. And what they don't tell you at their dealership is that um, for you to properly use these without messing, out, uh, messing up your batteries is that you need a charge controller and, um, and of course the solar panel. Um, this port is usually great for the um, solar panels that uh, come with a charge controller mounted on the back of them. Um, but in my case, I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna use this port. 
what I'm going to do is, well, I already have it installed. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to go straight to the battery, from the battery to a charge controller, and then from the charge controller to the solar panels. So, as shown here, I already have the charge controller at, hooked up to the battery, and all I, all I need to do is hook up the cable to there, to the solar panel. So before I hooked up the wires, my friend helped me install the panel to the trailer. Um, like I said earlier in the video, there was no mounting hardware to worry about because of the four adhesive strips. Um, it could probably be installed with one person, but having two people made it much easier to install. So here's the wiring situation at the beginning. Um, I ended up covering the wires with protective wrap and securing it to the wall. Um, as they come down, um, these picks show the wires coming to the charge controller. And these picks here are the final product. Um, not shown is the 20 amp fuse from the solar panel to the charge controller, and then another 20 amp fuse from the charge controller to the battery. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, press that like and subscribe button uh, to let me know that I'm doing okay. <laughs> A special thank you to Bruce RV. Thank you guys so much for the opportunity to do an unboxing and small review and install on the 100 watt 6 solar panel. If you guys need any other products uh, unboxed and reviewed and installed, please let me know and I'll be happy to do it. Uh, for their other viewers, uh, be on the lookout for a follow-up review on the Bouge RV um, refrigerator that we got almost two years ago, as well as a video on our charge controller down here. Well, and I guess that's about it. So I hope you guys have a tremendous day. Oh,